yo, how's it going everyone? Larger than six here, back with another video, and today we are going to see if it's possible to catch every generation of Pokemon through nesting species for the season of Go in Pokemon Go. So without further ado, let's jump right into it. Let's check that video on it, because it might be a Shundo. So, I know this isn't usually my typical vlogging style of video, it still sort of is, but we're gonna keep it to a challenge. I didn't really have too much time to record, I was pretty busy to record my daily vlogs, my daily hunts, but we're gonna try doing a challenge today, and it only takes a day to do. So if you like this and you really enjoyed it, be sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel because it tells me that you guys love these kind of videos and I'll start doing more of them, right? So, the challenge of course is to get every single generation of Pokemon through only nesting species for this season. So there's a couple of ground rules I want to set before we actually begin going out and finding all these generations of Pokemon. Obviously the most important rule is that we're not going to focus on generation 8 because there's no generation 8 nesting species. We have at least one species of Pokemon nesting for every generation up to generation 7. So gen 8 is not included in this video. And now that I've got that big disclaimer out of the way, let's go over the quick rules and how we're going to determine what Pokemon are nesting where and how we're going to say and clearly cut say that it's going to be a nesting species to say that we got it for that generation. So the first important rule that we have to keep in mind is that if we're going to be going through nests, it's going to be green areas. So there's these dark green areas that are considered nesting areas. So that's where the Pokemon are actually going to be hiding for the nesting species. And if we find at least two to three, I'm going to stick to three of the specific Pokemon, then we're going to consider that generation done and we can keep looking for different generations. Now I have up on the screen here a list of all the different species apparently nesting for the season of Go and we have a bit of a, a problem here, okay? And you guys can already see it. The last three generations there barely have any nesting species. So the way I kind of see this video going is we're going to be getting Kanto all the way to Sinnoh done relatively fast and then it's going to be us trying to find Unova, Kalos and Alola, so gens 5 up to 7. So it's gonna be an interesting video because it's very few nesting species, but it's like it's like a treasure hunt. We're gonna try and find a specific Pokemon nesting. So now that we have an idea of what's nesting and an idea of what the challenge is, let's go outside, let's try and find every generation of Pokemon. And if you stick to the very ending of the video, I have a very special surprise I'm gonna share with you guys. So let's go out and let's begin. So last full disclosure, I actually checked a couple of the nests the day before I actually recorded this. So I know where some of the generations of nests are, but the harder ones are Gen 6 and 7. I have no clue where those nests are. So this is going to be a wild goose chase hunt. And to make things exciting, I'm going to add a little counter on the top of the screen there of how many nests I've visited up to this point of the recording. So this is our first nest here. And as you can see, we've got a bunch of these little kitties, glam meows. So we found our Generation 4 nest to start things off. I'm very happy with that as there were very few species nesting for this generation. So that's really good and I don't know why I picked a very hot day and with the potential of rain to do this but I said to myself I'm not putting this challenge off we're gonna do it and we're gonna get this done. So I'm just gonna catch the glammy out just so you see that there's more than just one of them here and we're gonna actually go to the other side of the nest as well which as you can see it spans all the way down to the end there and we can actually get some more glam meows to just prove that this is a giant nest them because some people might say oh my goodness look those are not glam meow nesting species it's just going to be lots of glam meows and to my point i'm going to say yeah they don't spawn that much in a regular spawn it's definitely a nest but i will just prove it i will go to the other side of the nest and show you there are more so as you can see there are tons of the glam meows still over here as well so Generation four, as I said, off of our list. So one generation sound, six to go. So our work is not done yet. We've got plenty more to go. And um, I'm gonna actually just jump us to the next nest now because it's actually right over there. As you can see, that's our next nest. So every time it splits off, usually it's a new nesting species. So big giant bulks of green means that's one giant nest. So as you can see, this is all glam meows and the weather just changed apparently. Ooh, it's partially cloudy. That rain might be coming in soon. Hopefully it doesn't rain on me, but let's go to the next nest now and let's see what generation that one is because hopefully I don't run into two generation four nests back to back. That would be very silly. So I'm happy to report that I didn't find one shiny glammy on that nest. Please hope to God that I don't find a shiny glammy. I've got way too many of those. 
So I'm glad to be out of that nest. And we're in the next one. And it is the snubbles, as you can see. We've got three snubbles lined up right here. And again, it'd be very weird if we just had three random full lodge snubble spawns just come in here. So I'm very conclusive this is gonna be a nest for generation two. I will go to the other side of this nest just to prove it to you guys as well, because you know, for research purposes, it's good just to double check your work and to get more spawns in. So this nest goes all the way to that other yellow gym right down there. So let's go to the end there and let's just confirm that we see more snubbles as uh, another one just spawned in there. So 100% this is a snubble nest. We got another one just spawning over here and I caught a couple more throughout this nest so I can definitely say 100% that we have generation two off of our list. So that's two nesting species, two generations. Can we go three in a row? Let's hop over to that giant nest over there next to us where the yellow gym is. And then there's another yellow gym over there. So it's a little confusing where I'm talking about, but if I'm gonna click on something for you guys, I'm gonna click on this stop right here and it says habitats. So we're going to that stop right there, that area. We're gonna see generally what kind of spawns we see throughout the nest. I'll show you my log as well. So you see that I caught some more of them while we, before we get there. And hopefully we get three different generations back to back. So I had a little bit of a hard time trying to figure out this nest here because I was seeing a couple chin chows, but after going through the nest again, unfortunately it was hopping. So regardless, generation two, we already have that with the snubbles. So we kind of have to write this one off and keep moving. But I think we're gonna get to the point now with this video where I will just keep going through a bunch of the nests. I'll keep a record of every single nest that I come through. Some might just be unknown and I'll come back to them later because I need to see exactly what I'm thinking it might be and see if I get more spawns of it. But we're gonna keep going, try and find the next generation and hopefully we get one because yeah, I'm starting, I'm starting to feel the heat out here. It is 33, 34 degrees Celsius. If you use Fahrenheit, figure that out yourself. I'm not gonna be your converter. But yeah, it's pretty hot out here and I don't know if I wanna spend too much time out. So let's go and find hopefully Gen 6 and 7 because I know the next few are gonna be ones that are the easier generation to find Pokemon for. So we are at my favorite nest to save all time. And if you guys are the OG fans, you know what I'm about to say. Are you guys ready? The Jing Cozy Park Nest. I love saying that with you guys and I will always say it when I get the chance to. But once in the nest here, pretty straightforward what it is. It's this little boy right here, the Barboach. And uh, I know you're probably looking at it as a viewer and saying there's only two of them, so how do you know it's a nest? Have a look at my journal. Oh my gosh, all the Barboach. You guys ready? Here they come. Barboach, Barboach, Barboach. Look at all of them. So many Barboach here. So I can clear generation three off of the list. No shiny barboach, thank the lord. I actually just got one a little while ago. I think I actually had it on the channel here as well that I shared with you guys, but yeah, barboach is not one that I'm looking for at the moment. So, fingers crossed we don't run into any more barboach nests. But that's three generations off the list. That's really good. That means we only have four left to go. We got gens one, we got gen five, six, and seven. Now, six and seven, like I said, is gonna be the troublesome ones. So, hopefully, we get them soon. Hopefully, we find them and I don't have to stand this heat too much longer. So, let's keep going and hopefully find one of those two types of nests before I start running out of steam here. Cause I've only, I only visited a good few nests and uh, we're doing pretty good for what I've found so far. So I had an earlier nest that was a little bit skeptical, but uh, thankfully I did kind of find one that'll kind of negate that one. It was the one I was skeptical about with a crabby nest. That's cause I only saw two in a long strip of, of spawns. Uh, but this one looks like it's gonna be Zubat here. So I've got that Zubat there. There's some more Zubats on the nearby and if you look at the journal, I actually was able to catch some throughout the nest as well just a couple minutes ago. So I can definitely say that this is a Zubat nest and thankfully I don't have to go hunting for really any more Generation 1 nests. I can kind of cross it off my list and say, okay, we're done with Zubat. So we got Generation 1 done. We've got two, we've got three, we've got four. So what are we looking for? We got five, six, and seven. I can't do the six and seven because I'm holding the camera. So. We're gonna try and find those now. And uh, yeah, now you're gonna start seeing the number of the nests go up really high because obviously I feel like I'm gonna keep running into other nests that aren't those generations because only like two or three Pokemon I can actually find for these. So yeah, I guess I'll be back soon and hopefully I don't have to run around too far to find my next generation. Okay, well that actually didn't take too, too long. That was actually just like one nest. And um, I'm a little skeptical on this one because I see two lily pups in here but i also saw two sunkerns and both of which can nest now obviously we want it to be the lily pup because we don't have generation five just yet so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna catch these 
and I'm gonna go to the end of this area here. So we're gonna go to that stop over there, this one here, the Eastbourne Park Playground. And we're gonna see if we see more sun currents or if we see more lily pups. If we see more lily pups, that essentially indicates that it is a lily pup nest and we'll have that done off of our list. It looks like I don't need any more evidence to kind of conclude that this is a lily pup nest. I did not see a single sun current after this. So thankfully, I can take generation five off the list. I did decide to catch just some of the spawns on my way here. So as you can see, after that uh, pat rat and the lily pup there, those are all the lily pups that we caught through the nest. So. Generation 5 off the list. We got super lucky. Now, this is the hard part. We're down to generation 6 and 7, as I assumed. And we have that giant list left, but we only have two species of Pokemon we have to find for the generations. We've got Picky uh, we got the Picky Pack. Fletchling and Young Goose. So now, with the uh, movie magic that I can flicker around here, I'm gonna throw you to when I find one of those, or we're gonna just go back home now because I can't find them. So how many nests will it be that I go through? Let's go and see. Oh my goodness, you're actually kidding me. We're in between nests 16 and 17 for this hunt, and I found a shiny, and it's a shiny Starly. Like, I kid you not, every single video after that challenge, I'm finding at least one Starly in the, in the wild, which is kind of crazy. I didn't even get to play the comedy, and I'm already finding full-out shinies. It's never happened that they're comedies. So that's how many Starlies are clearly still out there. But let's check Debbie's on it because it might be a Shundo. Oh, what? It's a Shundo? <laughs> oh, what the heck? I actually cannot believe that just happened. Oh, wow. Okay. So that Shunder reaction was so good and so powerful that my camera battery died. So I couldn't record anything else for you guys. But I did continue on hunting the nest because I wanted to see if I could beat this challenge. And so what I did was if I go over here, I got a list of all the nests that I visited. So I visited 32 nests in total and a lot of them are duplicates. A lot of them are starlies, which funny enough, where I got the Shundo starly, it wasn't even in a starly nest. It was in a Zubat nest. So go figure, I would just find that randomly in the wild. So very nice to have that. Very surprised, still can't believe it. And before we forget, I want to just tag that for you guys. So here we got the four star, the Shunto starly. Oh my God, I still can't believe that. And uh, let's put that into my you wish tag. I don't get to do that often. And so now, if we actually go and view that, we're up to 10 of them. 10 Shundos. I never thought I'd be up that high. So this is great, and I'm super excited to share that with you guys. So, I didn't find any Fletchling or Young Goose Nest, so unfortunately I didn't beat the challenge. But, like, you look at what I found, and you look at that list of the Pokemon that can be nests, I think the biggest issue and the, the moral of the story with this video, with this sort of test that I did, was that they didn't make enough species for the later generations of Pokemon, right? Like, there's so many for Gen 1, 2, and 3, that the rest of the generations just get scrapped, and I don't know why they did that. It makes it so hard for like newer players to try and collect other Pokemon in different generations and try and power them up. Because if you only have like maybe one or two nests, the odds of you getting those generation five, six, and seven nests are super, super low. Like I think they should make more nests focused on those in the future rather than just so many on generations one through three. Like you look at that, so many on there. So didn't be the challenge, but that's what I have to say. So I did say if you waited till the end of the video, I had a surprise for you guys. So you see this phone right here? Gone, garbage. I am not using it anymore because I upgraded. I upgraded my phone and I upgraded my plan. So what does this mean? It means I have more gigs to stream on Twitch. So I will be live on Twitch for the first time ever on Tuesday. At 6 p.m. I'm gonna say 5 30 because I'm gonna go a little bit early to test out the stream, but I'll be live for the Nidra and Female Spotlight Hour. So, yes, your boy is finally getting into the live streaming community, and I'm excited to, you know, hang out with you guys. This is for you guys to spend my time with you and to share it, and hopefully, you know, some of you come hang out, drop by, even if you just are lurking in there, that'd be great just to 
you know, keep an eye on the stream. Maybe I'll find something rare, maybe I won't. But I'm so excited to be doing that for you guys. And we're going to be streaming and we're going to be going ham. It's going to be vlogging style still. It's going to be out and about. Uh, but we'll, we'll see how it works, right? Obviously, the first stream's not going to be the best. But we're going to keep going and making it better as we go. That's sort of how life is, right? You, you find something, you make it better. So, with that all being said, I can't wait to see the live stream. And that's it for the video. So, thank you so much for watching. And as always, make sure to boom, hit the like button. Click through a button down below to subscribe to the channel if you have so you know if I want to put a new video. I've been Lars from CCC, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care, buddy.